Well folks, I thought I'd do a quick mini tour of my other polytunnel which is out my back garden and uh, the fig you're looking at here is Mitchurinska 10 and I have to say this one is a phenomenal fig. Uh, I have another one in my other polytunnel which I've done a video on and it's my most productive fig uh, but you can also see this one here in this tunnel which is quite a bit cooler than the other tunnel is just as productive. It's uh, putting out main crop now a little bit later uh, at least by a few weeks than the other uh, tunnel or the other fig in the other tunnel and I put that down to uh, the, the heat in here or uh, lack thereof and um, this polytunnel is a lot smaller it's only 8 by 10 so whilst it does get hot it doesn't keep that heat throughout the night time and uh, it certainly doesn't get as hot during the day as the other tunnel um, but yeah that's uh, I'd be interested to see if these will actually ripen up for me in this tunnel um, so in this bed we have three figs. Now I've actually just cleaned up the, the entire tunnel. This is a complete another mess. Um, this fig here is my other Azores Dark, which has only kind of come to in the last few weeks. Um, not doing spectacularly well, but sure, there it is. Got some suckers coming up. And next one is LSU Champagne. My other one in the other tunnel got toasted by the light frost. This one managed to survive. Quite a bushy looking fig. Um, no. Um, fruit on it just yet. Um, there's my Gerardi uh, mulberry. This one is a brown turkey. Uh, I managed to get a cutting off this uh, local brown turkey fig uh, which put out a spectacular amount of figs every year so I decided to stick one in, in this ground and um, luckily enough for me uh, I did that uh, this year because that particular tree is um, actually got chopped down this year so that's unfortunate but that's that a brown turkey fig and um, we have a new addition to the mulberry family this is a shangri-la um sorry no himalayan red so um it was in transit for a while so lost all of its leaves and fruit uh, it had fruit on it which dropped off in the box not looking great here um branch looks dead but this we have some nice green shoots here and we have some buds on it so hopefully they will uh, come back to life soon. Uh, there is a bit of life here in the stem uh, although this is the the um, rootstock. And then last but not least my three year old black Madeira. Um, this thing is doing spectacularly well. Um, it's putting out some amount of new growth and I suspect it's not going to be um, or this tunnel is not going to be able to hold this for too much longer. I might actually dig this out next year and put it in my other polytunnel um, or just pull it back. Unfortunately this year there is no fruit on it. Well possibly this one here, that's the first one I've noticed. Um, and certainly that's way too late in the season for this variety because this is a very late ripening uh, fig. I suspect the late frost had something to do with the lack of fruit on it this year. Um, but yeah, we just don't, I just don't get the heat in this tunnel that this needs to ripen. I have got a cutting off this that I have in the other tunnel, but uh, it's only the first year. But I might just pull this out of the ground. Um, this one really needs a head start, so I'd have to maybe double cover this in the springtime to get it going early. If I want to ever get a taste anything off this, but uh, I have to say it's looking spectacular. Um, and that's the polytunnel so far, quite bare at the moment, although I've just cleaned it up and you should have seen the amount of plants. Uh, I certainly have uh, issues with collecting plants, but there you go. Um, and there's some nice mulberries.